KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 21st of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather turning wet Wednesday, then more cold air, maybe a little rain this weekend. Maybe not. Let's go in there and check it out. Uh, it's always an interesting and challenging pattern this time of the year. That's the upper ear look. About 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground, troughing on the east coast, new trough in the west. And around here, a dry air mass, nothing but sunshine across the state. But it's cold, 30s for North Alabama, 40s for the central part of the state, Birmingham at 42. That's about 12 degrees below average for this time of the year. We'll be cold again tonight. Many spots will go in the 20s. And around the nation, the coldest air around the Great Lakes and up in the northeast where many of those folks are still buried in snow. On the watch warning map, I see blizzard warnings for parts of the plains of Colorado, northwest Kansas. Winter storm warnings for parts of the northern Rockies, the Intermountain West, and also winter weather advisories out toward the Great Lakes. But things are nice and quiet down here. Severe weather outlook through tonight. How about no thunder? Nice and quiet. Tomorrow, maybe a little thunder on the mighty Mississippi, north and west of the state. And on day three, which is Wednesday, a chance of some thunder for the southern part of the state. No severe storms are expected. Precipitation for the next seven days. Wettest weather over the east. In Alabama, rain amounts mostly in the one and a half to two inch range. And again, this is valid through Monday morning of next week. So let's take it day by day. This is the 12Z GFS valid tomorrow at noon. Big positive tilt trough to the west. Rain breaks out west of the state, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, south and east of a surface low that's north of Kansas City. And north of that, snow is likely for places like Omaha, Des Moines, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Uh, for us, tomorrow the sky will be increasingly cloudy, and the high should be, I'd say, 50 to 55, a little warmer than today. Wednesday, rain moves in. Should be a rainy day. I guess there might be some thunder, but uh, no severe weather, just wet. And then Wednesday night, on the back side of that, uh, there's evidence that the thermal values might drop low enough for a few snow flurries. But typically in a case like this, there's no accumulation, no impact. We think that will be the case. If I see a lot of blue on that map, that's probably a little overdone based on the forecast soundings. And then Thursday, the sky becomes sunny and the weather turns a bit colder. We'll be close to 60 Wednesday, then highs on Thursday dropping in the 40s. Friday will be dry, kind of cold, uh, lows in the 20s, highs in the upper 40s. Saturday as the weekend begins, the weather looks dry. The sky should be mostly sunny. We might see 50s. Should be a fairly decent day to start the weekend. We note there's a clipper north of the state bringing some light snow to Chicago. This is Saturday night. The clipper drops onto the south. Some rain breaks out over Tennessee. And then Sunday, again, you can see the GFS hints at some little patchy light rain across the state. But uh, typically with clippers, moisture very limited and precipitation amounts would be very light. So we'll mention maybe some patchy light rain on Sunday. Probably not much. This is the European. It's dry as could be. This is Sunday at midday uh, with some rain down in the Gulf. So the weekend looks mostly dry. Again, maybe some patchy light rain Sunday. We'll fine tune that as we get closer. We'll go to Monday of next week. Another trough coming in from the northwest. That looks dry. Another clipper coming down through the Great Lakes. These are coming from the northwest. They originate back in the province of Alberta. That's why they're often called Alberta clippers. Let's keep on going next week. This is Wednesday, the 30th. Pretty good trough over the east. That's a cold air mass if this verifies. In fact, uh, if this verifies, we'll be uh, in the 30s all day, Wednesday of next week. And then the following day, Thursday, the 31st, cold and dry. Check the numbers coming off the European. Warmest day should be Wednesday. It's got 63 on the ensembles here. We might be in the 50s, but some folks could see 60s. And then you can see the step down toward colder weather with 40s on Thursday and maybe even upper 30s on Friday. And then highs in the uh, upper 40s for the weekend. 
And another shot of cold air. Look at Wednesday of next week. If this verifies, uh, we might be below freezing much of the day. That's a long way out there. That could change, but we'll see. But the pattern, again, features colder than average temperatures for the rest of the month of January. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.